Opinions and ideas expressed in the following Moraine Valley Broadcast Channel recording are those of its creators and do not represent the views of Moraine Valley Community College. Welcome to the apocalypse and other such ridiculous things. Who lives? Who dies? Who tells your story? In this case, it's Lynn Manuel Miranda. Miranda, the mastermind behind the Broadway musical Hamilton, rewrote American history in an attempt to juxtapose modern sensibilities over the ideals that this nation was founded on. Lynn Manuel Miranda cast traditionally white roles by a multiracial troupe, which begs the question, how does the use of non-white actors affect the message of the musical? Today, we will have Anthony. Hello. Lauren. Hey. And yours truly, the master of ceremonies, bringing you both the thunder and the lightning. My name is Jay. Let's start by talking about the message of Hamilton. Lauren, what do you have to say? I want to start by talking about President Obama and what he said on November 2nd, 2015. Obama was addressing a crowd who had just seen Hamilton. President Obama said, quote unquote, so my primary message tonight, and this performance undoubtedly described it better than I ever could, is that we can't afford cynicism and we can't afford to withdraw. We've got too much work to do for that. Close quote. Hamilton gives the audience a sense of patriotism. It makes people proud to be American because they see how much our founding fathers went through to get where we are now. The message of Hamilton isn't just about America and its past. It is also about current America. It all started when the casting call for Hamilton came out. There was a lot of bickering when the casting call called for non-white actors. Many people called this discrimination. In my opinion, using non-white actors is not discrimination. Producers create a vision for what they want their characters to look like, and that is exactly what Miranda did. The producers of Hamilton said, quote-unquote, It is essential to the storytelling of Hamilton that the principal roles, which were written for non-white characters, be performed by non-white actors, close quote. By saying this, Miranda thinks that if the characters were played by different actors, the story would be told differently. Hamilton is a show about the past, but it also brings in the future by having non-white actors and also through the use of hip-hop. Miranda also said, quote-unquote, It's a way of pulling you into the story and allowing you to leave whatever cultural baggage you have about the Founding Fathers at the door, close quote. This proves that Miranda is not trying to be discriminating. He is just trying to make a statement that actors' race or, eth- or ethnicity should not be a concern. Hamilton makes you put your prejudices aside and actually listen to the story and hear the message. The producers ended up changing the wording of the casting call, saying that they are accepting actors of all ethnicities. This will still not change the vision Miranda had for this musical. He will still cast non-white actors because it is essential for the message of the musical. The diverse cast reflects diverse America. By having the Founding Fathers be played by non-white actors, it reminds the audience that this nation wasn't just built by those men. It was built by the people and for the people. By having non-white actors casted, it opens up a whole new world for actors of different cultures that normally cannot find any roles. Not only does it give roles to non-white people, it also shows that a diverse cast like Hamilton's can be very successful. Which really does show the differences in the decades. About a decade ago, this really would not be an issue. However, nowadays, especially with the recent boycott of the Oscars, enough to spark kind of a Twitter war, with the hashtag Oscars so white. I actually wanted to interject there and talk to you about Jada Smith. She was the first to tweet about boycotting at the Oscars. She wrote, at the Oscars, people of color are always welcome to give out awards, even entertain, but we are rarely recognized for our artistic accomplishments. Should people of color refrain from participating altogether? Which really does bring up the issue, you know, how does the use of non-white actors affect the message of the musical. Anthony, what are your thoughts on it? As mentioned, a major draw to Hamilton is its multicultural cast, but Hamilton is not the first Broadway play to have casted actors of different backgrounds. As best as I could tell, that honor would befall the musical Showboat. Released in 1927, Showboat was met with both critical acclaim and success, and despite its racist content matter, Showboat displayed that there has always been a demand in some form of diversity in media. Musicals that have a more diverse cast than average do better in box office compared to those who don't. A good modern example of this would have to be the success found in the musical Rent, which saw this play people from many walks of life. 
The success of diverse musicals can be attributed to an increase in diversity among Broadway audiences. People will enjoy to see themselves represented in media. Now, a major flaw present in many plays that feature a diverse cast is that parts r are written without racial identity in mind, or that characters are written as one-dimensional stereotypes rather than actual characters. This is definitely not present in Hamilton. Lynn manuel Miranda adds ethnicity to every single part of the play, from the characters to the music. Alexander Hamilton himself is portrayed as an em immigrant who came to America to find success, which eerily sorry, follows the national ethos of the American dream, that anyone can be successful so long as they're willing to work for it. And even the undertones of the musical, sorry, the music, which had a rap, are deeply tied to African American culture. This is why Hamilton is so popular and has been called original and a breakthrough of musicals. Hamilton not only displays diversity, it encompasses diversity. Diversity isn't just some gimmick used in the play, it is integral to the play as a whole. That's a very good perspective, Anthony. All in all, it really is just another brick in the wall. The issue of race has always been a hot button issue. However, as we talked about, Hamilton brings the past and the future together, and it really would be discussed so much more differently if the actors were right. Race is used to underline the nation's ideals in contrast to the general ethos of the times, and casting is meant to reflect the changes in the past and in the current America. Multiracial casting in the media is an issue nowadays, especially with Oscars and having non-traditional roles be challenged by these ra uh, multiracial troops. And as always, remember to find somebody who looks at you like Min Lin Manuel looks at literally everyone. Thank you for your time, everybody. I'm Jay. I'm Lauren. I'm Anthony. And this is the Apocalypse and other such ridiculous things. Signing off.